Hi everybody, welcome to Create with Ella. Um, today is Monday, March 5th. March 5th. And at my house this morning, March was being a lion. The wind was a whipping. Um, so anyway, this is a live show that I do the first and third Monday of every month. Unless there's a federal holiday. Um... So I'm talking to people that are in chat. Uh, if you're watching the recorded version on Ustream or YouTube, you won't see the chat. So you'll not, you know, see their conversation, but you'll hear me talking to them. And if you are watching the recorded uh, show and we get to a part that, you know, you want to zip through, just zip on through. It won't hurt my feelings. It won't bother me. I've done it myself. Um, but it is more fun uh, to be in the live show. However, life happens, and we know that that's not always possible. So right now, we're going to do some show and tell. Um, I haven't done show and, tell, show and tell in a while, so I thought we'd do some show and tell. So um, I bought, a couple of years ago, I bought one of those. Um, I might have a picture of it in here. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, it's a stand. What is my Twitter name? Um, Ella Connor, I think. I'm pretty sure it's, oh, wait a minute. No, it's Ella. Hold on a minute. Yeah, Ella Connor. No, that's not my Twitter name. I don't even know my crazy name. On Twitter, that is. Oh, Ella Connor 28. Ella Connor 28. That's my Twitter. Um, I bought one of these stands that, <laughs> okay, thanks, that holds a 8x8 uh, eight eight, um, display and you can flip it, right? And so you, it holds 8 and you can add 8 more to it. And, um, I never knew what I wanted to do with it. Oh, here's a picture of it. Okay. See this stand right here? And it's an 8x8. Eight eight. It's a scrapbook page holder. Holds an 8x8. Eight eight. Comes with 10 page sleeves. And then you can you could probably buy more. So I had this in my closet, and we have um, quite a bit of wrought iron in our house. We, we really like it a lot. Thank you, Je Jennifer. And um, so I thought, this will look pretty in our house. Well, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Well, then I figured out what I wanted to do with it. So I got inspired by a Pinterest uh, that I saw, a couple things on Pinterest, and I said, that's what I'm going to do with it. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. Okay, I didn't, I'm not using that one. So let me kind of give them an order here. Okay. April, see May. Hold on a minute. August, St. Patty's. Okay. Okay, so the first one I did was... Um, February. So this is February's. So the white is 8x8. Eight eight. And um, then these solid squares are 2.5. So it'd be 2, 4, 6. And um, so the solid square is 2.5. And, and then this square right here on top is 2 inches. And so I wanted to use up um, some scraps I had. And the reason this is taped is because I have stuff on the other side and I don't want it to fall out. So this was a heart punch I had. And these, this is washi tape. Um, this is washi tape. That doesn't belong there. Oh. Um, and these were just embellishments that I had. Um, I used a die to cut out this heart. But the rest was uh, embellishments and paper. So that's going to be February. And then th this is not how they'll be displayed in the, th in the um, whatchamacallit, the stand. Because then if you flipped, you wouldn't see, um, they wouldn't be 
right side up. But I'm just showing them to you right now. So this is going to be for St. Patrick's Day. I haven't finished this one yet. And it, like I said, the salt, the um, like on this one, um, I made this uh, six. The black is six by six. No, wait a minute. Two, four, six. The green is six. This is six and a quarter, and this is eight. And then I cut this on my Cricut, and I cut this on my Cricut. These are cut with the Cricut. And these are little, uh, I punched these flowers out, and this is a punch. So I haven't finished March. March will be St. Patrick's Day. And then April is Easter. And this is April. I can take it out the sleeve. Just a second. Yeah. This is April. And this was a wood um, embellishment that I had. I had bought a pack of um, embellishments for Easter, and this was in there. All of these are embellishments. I didn't die cut any of this. And in stickers. So that's April, which would be Easter, which is on the 1st of April this year. I know I saw that, Dorothy. I saw where she said she's watching me, but she's not in the chat. Let me see. Nope, she's not in the chat, so I don't know where she's watching me. <laughs> okay, and then this is April, May. This is Mother's Day. And um, I'm not quite, I'm not finished with this yet. Uh, let's see, this is a die. Embellishment. Uh, a punch. This flower is a punch. This is a, a punch, and this is a die. So that's going to be um, May. So, uh, like I said, I'm I'm uh, wanting to get you know not get rid of. I'm wanting to use up um, some of. Uh, you know my stash and I thought this was a good way to do that and I can use it every year and then when I get tired of this display of Easter I can put another Easter in right okay so that's May I haven't done June yet this is uh, July 4th this one is finished oh no I didn't get to finish that little piece so I'll have to do that this week at the crop not the crop, but on my day I go to the scrapbook store, which is Thursday. So these are doodle bug stickers. Um, this was on some paper that I had. Thank you, Jennifer. So all I have to do is finish up this little square here. So that's July. Haven't done June yet. June's going to be like summer picnics and things like that. Okay, that's July. And then here's August. I mean, whoops. Well, I haven't done August yet. Maybe I haven't done August yet. Nope, I haven't done August yet. This is October. And this one I think is pretty much, pretty much finished. I probably won't be adding more to this unless I find something I like right there. These are um, stickers. These are, uh, I don't know what flowers these are. It's hard for me to tell you guys exactly what it is because it was in my stash and I threw away the packaging. <laughs> yeah, it was done, you know. Okay, and then this will be November. Let me put this back over here. October. This will be November. I started on this one and I haven't quite I haven't finished it yet. Hi Lynn. So that's November. And that's as far as I got on that little project. So I've been working on that. Put that back. 
And these are just some stickers that I had put in there and I didn't want to lose them. You stick these back in here. Okay. So that's that's a project that I've been working on that um, I'll pick up again on Thursday maybe. But I do want to get it done so I can display it. Hi, Sandra. I was scrapbooking last night. We had a three-day crop this weekend. And I was scrapbooking when Sandra's show came on, so I didn't catch her last night. But her journal pages turn out very pretty. put this one back in there. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay, and then the other thing I was working on is I have a girlfriend's album. And whenever I do something with my girlfriends, I put it in that album and I do traditional 12 by 12 albums so last year my friend Stacy and I went to the Reagan uh, library to see the uh, Titanic exhibit so I've started on that one they had a high T let me zoom out so you can see the pictures a little better um, this one yeah oops okay so they had a high tea, and um, during the high tea, there was a gentleman there from the Los Angeles Museum of uh, Art and something. I can never remember what it is. <laughs> um, Stacy's going to tell me so I can journal about it. But anyway, he talked about um, the Titanic and the period of time and the passengers and the different classes of passengers. And... Um, you know, um, different things about um, the ship and, and things like that. It was a very, very interesting and informative talk. So there weren't a lot of pictures to take of the tea. You know what I'm saying? So this is Stacy and I, and then this is um, our table with the um, real pretty... Um, Um, what am I trying to say? Things we had with tea. We had some scones. We had fresh fruit. The strawberries dipped in chocolate. We had some uh, petite, petite fours, whatever that. I can't say that. I have talk, trouble saying that. Rather, um, we had some tea sandwiches. Um, and you could have hot tea or iced tea. But every table was set like this. It was a round table. And um, it was a lot of fun. So this introduces, then up here, I'm going to put high tea um, at the Reagan Library. And then the date, I'll, I usually put my dates down in the corner somewhere. I, I, usually, I don't usually make them big on the page unless it's something, a special occasion. So there we are at the, t at the library. And then... Um, we went into the uh, museum and we had we had a uh, uh, our own docent that took us around and told us about the different things about the Titanic. And so this is going to be where the the exhibit starts, and you can see Titanic at the Reagan Library. And then once this goes in the page protector. There'll be this will be in a flip flap on top, and um, I will journal right here. I'll have a journaling card here, and you can flip this over. And then this was a I bought a pack of ephemera, and in that ephemera was postcards like this. So this tells all about the uh, Titanic ship and things like that. You know uh, um, how bit how long it was, how high it was. You know the launch of the the launching weight, how many steel decks, stuff like that. 
So I right now, it's not in the sleeve, so I just did this this weekend, and I just put it here with some washi tape so I wouldn't lose it. So that goes there. Hi, Ange. So then this is another piece of to, uh, ephemera that I purchased. Um, and I used the Martha Stewart uh, photo corner punch to make it, you know, give it that antique-ish look of that period. Because this is how they probably, if they put um, uh, things in out albums they probably would have used that and that this is just as this is a shorter page um, and here's another piece of ephemera that talks about the Titanic and again another piece this talks about the fare you know how much it costs to get on uh, for third class rates um, the third class rate was thirty six dollars and twenty five cents to go like from to Plymouth, Southampton, London, Liverpool, and Glasgow was $36.25 to book a ticket on the um, Titanic. And um, this picture is kind of dark, so it may not show up well, well on camera, but this was the third class four birth room. There were two bunk beds, so there were four people, two room. Yeah, that's the toilet right there. So... Um, the third class uh, people had a spacious dining saloon, smoking room, ladies reading room, and a covered promenade. And then um, this was a picture of their dining room. And then I made, uh, I had the Cricut cut the, uh, write this, and then I, I cut them using the Deco um, chomper. And this is a die, but I had the Cricut right, and then I cut it out with a die. And then this is a piece of ephemera, I mean, embellishment I had. This is a Martha Stewart punch. So, yeah, this is how the ephemera came, you know, all folded up and antique looking. Um, and I like that, that they kept it to that, you know, period. And then this um, is glimpses of the ship. This is the Marsoni room. And um, they could watch over 250 miles across the sea and were able to communicate with other ships as well as the shore. So that's, you know, showing where the guy would sit, sit, sit to do his signaling and wires and Morse code and all of that. And then this was a chair on the deck. This was a titanic uh, deck chair, and um, it was only one of seven known to be in existence. Dozens of chairs were thrown into the ocean as Titanic was sinking in hopes that they would give those in the water something to hold on until help arrived. Um, but the hypothermia rather than drowning is what claimed a lot of lives. Thanks, Sandra. Thanks. So this piece of ephemera also um, came, and you can take this out and open it up and read, you know, like this is a transcript of register for transmission to Register General of Shipping and Seamen. Is that not a mouthful or what? And um, it talks about the ship. It's all about the ship. So if someone wanted to read this, they just, you know, reach in here and take it out. It's not taped in. It's just slid in there. This is a piece of graphic, 45 paper. I fussy cut the um, luggage. And then this is washi tape. Again, the Martha Stewart punches, a photo corner punch. And this is um, Life Aboard the Titanic. Um, this was Cal and Rose's um room i don't remember their last name and um the what i wanted to show is the contrast of this is first class and this is a state room of probably second class so big difference and then i'm gonna write on vellum and i'm gonna put that here and here and i've just got these keys tacked down and they're going to hold 
the um, vellum down. I fussy cut those out of graphic 45 paper. This is uh, um, EK Success Punch right here. And then this is the dining. Um, this would be the first class menu. And then this is afternoon tea, which was smoked salmon, sandwiches, cucumber sandwiches, fresh baked scones with clotted cream, strawberry preserves, chocolate eclairs with French vanilla cream, assorted pastries, and assorted teas. Yum, yum. And then this was information they passed to the passengers, um, like breakfasts from... I can't read it. 8 until 10. It's kind of blurry right there. Lunch at 1, dinner at 7. The bar opens at, I don't know. It's kind of blurry. I think it's 8 or 9 and closes at 11.30. The smoke room, the dining, ser the divine service, wireless telegrams, baggage questions, deck chairs, steam, steamer rugs, exchange of money. So that was information they passed out to the passengers again this is the Martha Stewart punch so this is on this is has a page protector on it so this flips up and um, this shows you the second class breakfast they had rolled oats fruit boiled hominy fresh fish for breakfast Ugh. Yarmouth bloaters see grilled ox American dry hash Grilled sausage, mashed potatoes, grilled ham and fried eggs, and stuff like that. And then on the back of this first class menu is the first class um, dinner. Yeah, this is, I have to look in the book. This is one of their meals and this is another. So I'm going to copy this so that when it flips, this will be, you know, the right side. So there's a big difference in what first class ate and what the other guys ate, right? And then this is um, says the Great Titanic Disaster. Um, this was the Calumet, Calumet News saying Titanic, biggest boat in the world may be doomed. And this, um, I think, came out before the ship sunk. And then this is, uh, they had a display a Titanic wreck model that they built for the movie <clears throat> and um, they weren't content uh, James Cameron was you know the person that directed the movie Titanic so they were not content with the wreck site with the filming let's see not content with filming the wreck site through the nine inch thick windows of the submersible you know, the, the little submarine thing he went down in. He and his brother, Michael, designed a camera system that could withstand the pressure at that depth as no existing camera could. While they were successful, their cameras could only hold 12 minutes of film. So he planned each of his 12 dives with the same meticulous care of a lunar landing, storyboarding each take ahead of time um, to scale model of the wreck site. So that's how he... Um, he completed over 33 dives to the Titanic wreck site, spending more time with the ship than her survivors ever did. So he went down there and filmed it, and then they built this model um, accordingly. And there was so there were a lot of people there that day. So to stand back and get a picture of the full um, display was rather hard. So Conan had to get it in two pieces. So that's as far as I've got with that. Um, working on the Titanic. Let's see, what else have I been working on? No, I didn't work on none of that. So, um, after I get that uh, exhibit done, I want to do the one that Greg and I went to when we saw the Vatican exhibit last year, and then several years ago, Greg and I went to see the Lincoln exhibit. So that'll be very interesting. Yeah. It was a boiler fire that made the Titanic sink. They would have been okay just hitting the iceberg. It was that 
fire making the boat sink when it hit the iceberg because the frame was damaged. Yeah. So today I thought um, I'd make some cards. Put this over here. Get this out of the way. Let me get my... Um, ideas up. So I'm going to be using a six by six one page wonder. <laughs> oh, right. Let me find my uh, inspiration. Do, 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 do. Here it is. So, okay. So I, um, I'm a Pinterest junkie. Can't help that. <laughs> Love Pinterest. And if you follow if you follow me at all on Pinterest, you know I have a lot of Pinterest boards. And I used to keep like all one page wonders together. And then when I would go looking for one that was six by six or eight by eight or 12 by 12, I had to dig through everything. And um, I said, okay, enough of that. So then I broke them out and it makes life a lot easier. Um, so today I'm going to um, finish some uh, cards or make some more cards rather with the six page wonder. Now, the inspiration, the lady did not give the sketch. She just gave a picture. So um, I'm going to be looking at the picture and trying to copy what she did. I don't need it to be exactly like um, she did it. I, I'm not that uh, OCD. I just I just like the design, and I'm going to try to, to do that. So these I made on my own. Now this paper pack is... Um, Actually, this is six and a half paper pad by Kaiser Craft, and it's the Sage and Grace. And it came out last year, I believe. And it had 56 die cut elements on the back. And then you got um, um, 24 sheets of six and a half paper. And then you got 12 specialty cut papers and four die cut pages. So this is some of the paper um, that was in there was this, um, let me bring you a little closer. Can you see the shine on the polka dots? And you can feel them a little bit. They're not raised that much, just a teeny tiny bit. So this is a piece of paper and it's a, it's a real pale pink. And this is one of the papers. And this one, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And this has the little petite rosebuds. And then there's another sheet of this. And then this is a pretty, like, um, wall. Um, this is like, um, I do too, especially for cards. I do too. This is, um, looks like linen, you know. Then here's that other sheet. This is a pretty sheet too. Then this looks like a little leisure sheet with some um, lace at the top. Some stripes. I just bought a new 6x6 pad. I wonder if I wonder if I brought it in the house. Hold on a minute, let me look real quick. Oh, I have some more. I could use some more show and tell. Uh, oh, let's see. Hold on a minute, guys. I just bought a real pretty paper pack of um 
I may not have brought that in the house. Hmm. Oh well, it might still be outside. Okay, it must still be outside. I didn't bring everything in. Which is fine. Oh, I found it. Okay, this is the one we're going to be working with today, but more show and tell. This is the brand new um, Cartabella Spring Market paper. Uh, six... I think this one's six by six. It might be six and a half, too. No, this is six by six. Let's see. Six by six and a half. Six by six and a half. Okay, so this, the, the, my local scrapbook store, we had a three day crop this weekend, and um, she had just got this in. I grabbed the last one. Um, she got the 12 by 12 collection and the 6 by 6. Well, I got this one because um, I wanted to make cards. So I got this and the enamel dots, which I think are really pretty, and the ephemera. So this is the 6 by 6. So I flip through. You get um, 24 double sided papers. So there's probably 12 and there's two each. So. This is one side, which I think is really, really pretty. And then this is like a coral side. It has a little design on it. And then here's some cut aparts, which I I really like those because they're scaled so you know really nice for the cards. So you have cut aparts on this side, and then you have this pretty um, foliage, green leaf foliage on this side. Look at this cute. Isn't this just sweetness? Look at this. I love this. Those little rainbow boots with the, they got polka dots on them and the little flowers there. Ah, oh, so pretty. And then this one is wooden and this is more full print. And this is, I thought this was really pretty. I loved all of this. So I'm real happy that I was able to get the 6x6. Here's some arrow with a little bouquet in it. And this is one of my favorite papers. This one. So pretty. Whoops. Hi, Carrie Ann. And, well, you know, to each his own, Ange. I don't know what to tell you. I love double-sided paper. And when I can't... Usually, um, if I can't choose, I just buy two sheets for one side, one sheet for the A side and one sheet for the B side. Then I don't have to choose because I have a, a sheet of each. Um, it's more cost effective to uh, print this way, though. So this is the wreath, and then this is um, just you know lines, boarding, whatever. And then here's some uh, more with the boots and the pots. Um, little things with flowers, the watering can, the the little tools, another wood grain piece, some more florals, and then a striped piece. Um, this is like a little crate, you know, that has the little uh, jars with the flowers in them. Then you get a solid green piece and a check. 
Um, this is flowers. And then you, there's these little tags you can cut apart. And then words that you, you know, I wouldn't cut those apart. It's a little bit too much, but that's what's back there. It's all different color flowers. And then some, um, you can cut these apart and use this little border or something, embellishment. And then um, the little wagon, little truck rather, that says, what does it say? Oh, I can't, I can't read it. It's too back of something with a bouquet. I can't read. Let me see if it's over here. Let me see if it's over here. Something with the bouquet. Nope, I can't read it. The print's too small. <laughs> and then I think it starts all over again. Yeah, and then it starts all over again. So that's the 6x6 six six pad. And then the ephemera. The ephemera, there was two packs of ephemera, two different packs. This is the one I like the best. There was one that had more um, frames in it. The bicycle is real big this year in embellishments and on prints, I found. And then here's a tag that talks about how much the floral stems cost. And here's one that says, um, planting a seed is believing in tomorrow. And then here's one with, um, I'll turn them over so that you can see the color better. It's a but watering can with the flowers and then this is a paint can that has numbers on it um, this is a little um, wooden tray with jars of flowers it says holland bulbs number 1495 here's a um, crate that has flowers in it this is just a little journaling tag Feed and Seed Company, another little tag. This is pretty ephemera. Garden Shop, Bloom, little pennants. You can make a banner. A pretty, a pretty um, card. You know, you could put on the front. Hello Sunshine. Oh, it says fresh cut flowers. Create a bouquet. That's what it says. It's pretty. I like that. Some more flowers. Live life in full bloom. Pretty. You could write or stamp something in there. A little flower. I must have flowers always and forever. This like looks like a little seed packet. And a little flower. Grow. Another little teeny flower. A little heart. And another little teeny rosebud. So that's the ephemera. And there was another pack but it was more labels. And I, I liked this one better. So I'll be working with this probably in a couple of months because I want to get those page layouts done. I'm going to a scrapbooking retreat in June at Big Boy, Big Boy, yeah, Big Boy, Big Bear, and um, I want to get some, um, I need to do some prep work for that. So getting back to, oops, oh, flowers fell out. Getting back to the Sage and Grace by, um, let me bring you down, by Kaiser Craft. 
I have already made some cars cars yeah boy I'm having a hard time talking clear today I had already made some cards uh, in January and um, these are those cards and I tend to try and make two of each design so this one says best wishes on your special day and it's layered there's two layers here and then there's two layers here and two layers here this was a cut apart and this was a cut apart and I popped this up um, the scrapbook store I go to sells thin foam dots I mean thin foam what are they called thin 3d foam squares um, in the small size and in the little bigger size and they're super thin they're not as um, um, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> thick as the other ones so especially when you're mailing something you know it really helps I haven't done the inside of card yet so that's those two and then here's two that for thank you and I thought those were really pretty um, I haven't decided if I want to put anything in here so I left that blank I love that that was a piece of paper um, I'm not sure that must have been in my stash and then um, I did use my Wink Estella on the um, some of these uh, roses okay, if you look you can see it right here this is um, this is uh, embossed paper around here but I used the Wink Estella here and here on all these little roses then I put the Bitty Sparkles in there and then on this one I put uh, this little flower there and I used the Wink Estella on that and then this was the last one and I'm trying to decide if what to put. I want to put some little something in here. Okay, so that's as far as I got on those. And then I have all the cut aparts. The, oh, the, this was the paper from uh, part of the collection, maybe? No, I don't know. I don't know where that paper's from. It's not in here, so. But I still got all the little cut aparts in here. And so this is what I'm going to try my best to use to finish these cards today. All right, so I'm going to start with these cards from Hobby Lobby, the blanks. They are four by five and a half, and they're pre-scored. So I'm just going to take out, let's see, it's five o'clock. I'm going to take out four. Maybe I can get four done. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So, let me see what we have over here. I love you in the morning. I love you. No, I wouldn't. I'm looking for cards I would send to um, my girlfriends. There's a thank you. There's birthday 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 uh, love you to the moon no flower best wishes um, thank you another thank you it was a lot of you got a lot of uh, cut aparts in here thank you <laughs> Um, thinking of you I'm just separating them out so that makes it e easier to see let's see happy birthday wishing you the best day ever oops thank you happy birthday wishing you sunshine on your day blank another flower no sunshine on your day <laughs> Think happy and be happy. I uh, think that'd go under thinking of you. Uh, border. Best wishes. Some more tags. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Thank you. I don't send that many thank you cards. Wishing you the best day ever. Thank you. <laughs> it's your day. Best wishes. More best wishes. Another border, another border. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. I wouldn't send that to my girlfriends. Okay, got those. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Thinking of you. Another blank tab. So much. Uh, best wishes. Birthday. Celebrate your day. I see a little tag. Together is a beautiful place to be. Love always. Love you. Okay, what else in here? A little tags. Those are cute. Okay, I think that's all of our sentiments. Oh, here's a little arrow just for you. Okie dokie. So now I just need to, that's what I'm doing them for, Debbie, is exactly what I'm doing them for. Make a set of thank you and assorted cards, give us gift package. It's exactly what I'm doing them for. That's why I'm making two. I'm keeping one for me, and then the others are going in my box. And at Christmas time, I'm going to, I have some friends in mind that I'm going to send the cards to. And they'll get an assortment of cards from me to use throughout the year. This will be the third time I've done that. And they really liked them. So it makes life easier. <laughs> okay. So for what I want to make today, I need to get some dies. This is not all of my dies, but it's a good chunk of them. So let's see. I need some doilies. And I like that one the best. And um, Well, these ladies that I give them to, they won't, they, um, that won't work for them to put them together. I, I put them together and, you know, I know what they like and, you know, they just say you put them together. So there's some scallops. But I have friends that do that. They put them, they put the sentiments in and they let them choose, but I, um, they prefer for me not to put anything on the inside as far as writing or anything like that. Um, they want them left blank. They like them left blank, 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 blank on the inside. <laughs> Ooh, Mercy can't talk. Uh, maybe I need to take a drink of water. And um, so that's what I that's what I do. But then I have some friends that make them the way you're describing them, Debbie. And that I think that's a nice gesture too. Okay, I won't be using this. Um, we might, might be using this and this. Okay. Yeah, I have a friend that makes hers that way. You can put the sentiments on clear sticker paper and they can add them when they need them, as they need them. That's true. That's, that's true. I have a friend that does that for her girlfriends. 
Got some flowers. Okay. Got a punch if I need a punch. Um, I'll be right back. Let me see. I want to go over here and see. Um, look at my flowers. Good to go. Oh, here's some over here. Got those little flowers. I think those are better than these. Okie dokie. get the ball rolling <laughs> so to speak Those might work. These are too too bright. Get a drink of water. Maybe my I can talk better. Oh, there's a new grunge paste out. I haven't been. I haven't um, seen too much of, I haven't been paying too much attention to mixed media lately. So I, I'm not sure about the grunge paste. Is it by Finnebear? Okay, let me get my big, big shot. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're ready to go. So I think I'm going to use the die. Let me pick out my, um, where's my card go that I had? Oh, well, I'll just get another one. Okay. Um. Let me see about my pretty paper here. I really like this posy paper back here. It has the little posies on it. It is, isn't it? It was bigger than this. I ordered off Amazon because I use a lot of foam tape. So I that's where I got this from. Because I was buying the little um, rolls and I went through it like crazy. So I said enough of this. 
I'll get it off Amazon. <laughs> okay, so I like this. And then for my doily, I'm trying just to use this paper pack. That's my challenge to myself. Let's see what's over here. I could do this as the doily. Let's do that and see how that looks. So I'm going to use the Tim Holtz doily um, made by Sizzix. It's number 661497. Oh, great, Debbie. Very good. Now, I'm not going to bring my big shot plus over here. It's too much for me to move it back and forth. But I'm just going to do some die cutting on my big shot plus. And I am using a magnetic plate, which is just the most divine thing. Because then your paper and your die doesn't, doesn't shift. Okay, hold on just a minute, guys. I need to turn it around this way. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, it's foam tape, Ange, to pop stuff up. Are you enjoying your um, big shot, Ange? You're going to hear some cracking, and that's normal. Now, my personal preference with the thin cut dies, the thin metal dies, are to run them through twice. Some you don't need to do that too, but it's, I'm, it's just habit with me. And as you can see, it's cut all the way through. I don't, so I don't need to go back again, except maybe right there. You should be enjoying it more. <laughs> well, why aren't you? Why aren't you enjoying it more? Okay, it's all cut. I'm going to use my Spellbinder tool to, um, space is an issue for you. Oh, okay. What I find helps me when I want to, when I'm getting all these little itty bitty pieces out of here, is I bought an old mouse pad. And I'm going to use my brush. Oops. And, um, oh, the only place you can use it on the kitchen counter. Okay. And I'm going to turn the die over, and then I'm going to brush like this. I find it's better if I rub it a couple of times while it's flat and then I lift it up. Those little pieces come out, see? They come out a lot that better. And you're not sitting there poking everything. This is the way, you know, this is just what works best for me. 
everybody has their you know technique of how they do it and I'm using a spell binder tool in one so now I'm gonna lift it up see it pretty much is clean and I'm gonna look at it and pretty much everything's out of it All right, so I don't have anything to clean up, so I can get rid of this. And the neat thing about this one is, you know, this would I would get I would get seriously hurt with this, right? If I put that in my tool chest. So what you do is you push this down. Oh come on! And then this comes out. Then you unscrew this. This is a little spatula you can use to do different things with. But this, these two pieces store inside here. And you screw that back on. Push that down. And you can have it at different lengths. You can have it that long or whatever. I put it at the shortest length. And then when I'm done, I make sure that I take that off of there. There's other tools you can put on this end down here, but I don't have any of those right now. I just have this one. Okay, so let's put this back in here. And I remembered at too late now, I was going to die cut it on this. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I will make do. <laughs> okay, I do like this green. And I think these flowers show up better on the green. But I may change my mind here in a minute. I've been known to do that. So let me see what else we have in here. This might work on. It would be pretty on that. I'm just thinking. Okay, let's put it on this quarter quarter foil and see how it looks. So we need to cut this to what I say the cards were four by five and a half. Good. Nope, I got it right. Okay, and then this goes here. Except I think I'm going to offset it. I'm not going to put the whole die on there. So let's see, how wide is this? Four. Okay, I'm going to cut this to two. I'm just going to cut it in half.
Now, if I'd have been smart, I'd have put stick it on the back of this, but I wasn't smart and I didn't do that. So, but that's okay. I have a way to do that. Uh, it will work out. So I'm just thinking this through, how I'm going to do this. Actually, I usually don't even work like this. I take the whole front and lay it to the side because this is going to be one piece. We're going to do it this way. So I'm just kind of like thinking right now how I'm going to do that. I'm reading the chat. So if anybody has any questions or wants to say something to me, you know, just type it in um, big letters, capital letters, so I can um, see it faster. So I think I'll do happy birthday on this one. Sending you birthday wishes. I like that. I'm just looking at my little pieces. Remember, we set them aside a few minutes ago. So I'm just looking at those to see um, which one I want to use. No, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this down and I'm going to use um, Scotch Quick Dry. Oh, thank you, CB Club. Thank you very much. And I'm not going to go crazy trying to fill every little space back here. I'm going to do mostly the big pieces. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you everyone for joining me today. What did Mary Beth do yesterday? Because I was at a crop, I missed I missed whatever she did. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit along the edge. CBC Ella, not CB Club. Oh well, when I look at your thing, it says CB Club. Oh, that's how I re read it. Sorry. Okay, CBC. So where do you hail from, CBC? And Debbie, what did um, Mary Beth do yesterday? Let's put that down there. And I'm using a fine line bottle, standard tip with... Um, Scotch quick dry in it. She used oxides over grunge paste and Timmy's version of goosebumps. Oh, okay. I'm 
I'm going to trim off the excess down here. Silly nickname. I'm from Australia. I follow all the fibs. Oh, welcome. We have several fibs in um, Australia. So I'm going to pop this up with the thin foam squares. Now, when you use these fine line bottles, it's very important that when you're not going to be using them like one right af time after the other, that you put the tip back in. Otherwise, they um, it can get clogged up on you, and you know that's no fun. So I'm going to put some of these thin foam squares on here, pop this up. I'm using a paper piercer to just take the backing off. You don't need to. It's just what you know what you're used to doing and how you like to work I like working with paper piercer and tweezers I wish I had this in pink. I would put it down there. Okay, so now I'm going to take some clear Wink of Stella and I'm going to go over the outside of this um, sticker. Not sticker, piece of ephemera to make it um, shiny. Okay. And it dries relatively fast. You don't have to shake it, but I mean, you don't have to fan it, but I do. I don't know, Debbie. I don't know if she did. It, does anyone know Jean Stream today? I hope she's doing good. I've been seeing on Twitter where she's having some challenges. Now I'm just going to put the card front on. Oh, she did not stream. Okay. Oops. Got it on there crooked. There we go. Now, see how there's a little bit of um, white showing right here? What I'll do after the show is I'll take my craft knife and just trim that off. 
I want to adjust the color. These, this is a fade paper, but she came home not feeling well. Oh. Um, Jean said she would stream tomorrow. Okay. So I'm going to adjust the settings on my camera because even though this paper is light, I mean it's really a pastel color, I think it could be, um, oh it's not that. I'm looking at my fingers to make sure I get the right, oh that's too bright, that's too dark. Let me see, let me see what my hands look like, nope. Okay, that's right. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's our first card. Sending birthday wishes. And then on the inside, we could say wishing you the best day ever. So let's find a little piece of paper for that. Um, I'm looking at my punches, guys. Okay. Um, I want to put this on something. I don't want to leave it just hanging. Okay, so we could put this on here. We'll just cut it. Okay, so I'm going to cut it three by about two and three fourths. And then I'm going to pop this up on here. But I'm going to use, um, a corner chomper. <laughs> oh, can't think straight. Well, I was going to use Corner Chomper. Okay, just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So these are the original We Are Memory Keepers corner chompers. Oh, excuse me, Crocodile corner chomper, chomper. And I don't know which ones they make anymore, which ones they don't. This is the scallop and the cloud, and this is the stub and the deco. And this side of mine is missing because one day I went to pull these down and I pulled this side too hard and it snapped off. But it still works. Okay, so I want to see how the scallop, let me see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use the scallop edge side. So you put it in between these two wings, down in the um, space down there, 
and then you just chop. And it looks like that. And then you fold these back up like that. Now I'm not going to distress every, anything on these cards because um, some people don't care for that look. So I'll put that there. And then this is wishing you the best. Sandra went to get some tea, so she's back now. I should have made a cup of hot tea, but I'll have it after the show. Good night, Debbie. Thanks for stopping by. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Bitty Sparkles by Close to My Heart. And I'm going to place one right here underneath that. Um, exclamation point now don't let don't think that you can't you're you're um what am i trying to say your device is fooling you this is a this is a very pastel collection what i'm seeing on the screen is the true color but it's very pretty okay so that's card number one now card number two this was a piece of the collection and I really liked it a lot. So now I'm just figuring out, these are my scraps over here from when I made the other cards that I showed you guys. And now I'm just figuring out what I'm going to put down next to this. I like this part of the card down here, so that's why I have that cut off there. And so that is the five and a half. So I'm going to trim this to five and a half. It is pretty, isn't it, Jennifer? It's a very pretty collection. Oh, here's a bigger piece. We could make this like this. See, I changed my mind when I go to start going through all my scraps. That's pretty too. Okay, is that what I want to use? Or do I want to use one of these up here? Nope, it's not tall enough for that. Okay, so I think this is pretty. So we can put that there. And then I want something to cover that seam. Which I'll cut thin. I know, Dorothy. Aren't they so pretty? I love them, too. So let me cut this thinner. <coughs> okay, 
this needs to be. <coughs> oh, excuse me, five and a half. And I want to cut it to be maybe a half, no, maybe a quarter. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's that. And now we need a sentiment. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, here we go. This is do 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 the second carry, and I have it. I have it right here at my fingertips. Don't you see it? <laughs> it is. Where did? Where seriously? Where did it go? Okay, guys. What did I do? Oh, this Kaiser Craft Sage and Gray, six and a half inch. Kaiser Craft six and a half inch paper pad sage and grace. There you go, Ange. There you go. <laughs> you know, Ange, you could probably get a. I don't know how big your space is, of course, but maybe you could get a TV tray to put next to your desk to hold your big shot while you're working. Okay, so that's going to go there, and then this is going to go on top of that, and I'm going to do it like this. And then I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to trim off the extra. Making careful not to cut the card base. Yes, I'll repeat it. I'll repeat it, Carrie Ann. Hold on. I'm just cutting off the top here. There. Carrie Ann, you here? Okay, it's the um, Kaiser Craft six and a half inch paper pad, and the collection is Sage and Grace. Why are you blushing, Sandra? Did somebody say something to Sandra and now she's blushing? Sage and Grace, Kaiser Craft. Okay, I think it was this piece. Yep. And for this little piece, I'm going to use wet adhesive. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, you thought that was the collection. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
And where's my thing? Your special day. We'll pop this up. Okay, and now I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella. Oh, I should have heard what you really said. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put it on the darker pieces, the darker shading in the flower. Let me bring you in closer. There. I'm going to put a little bit on some of the leaves. And then I'm going to take some more of my Bitty Sparkles. And I'm going to put one here. And one here. And we get rid of this one. One down here. I'm going to put a total of five. That's four. And let me see. I don't think that'll fit there. Nope. Oh, nope. I just need... I'll put one there. Okay. Now this card I didn't it just came out of my head. I didn't use any inspiration for this card. So now I want to go back to this piece, even though I know we just used it, but I also like this piece. This must be a piece of my paper. I don't think this came with the collection. So, <clears throat> so now let's see what we can do with this. the paper pad. Let's see how we this will look under there. Okay, 
and it's five and a half by four. Yeah. So I'm going to cut my paper. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. Okay. And could use a piece of this. And let's look at these over here. We have some other little tags over here. That's pretty too. I'm just poking out the center here. Go back here and see how these look. No. No. I like this best. Okay. And then if we do these two, it ties these pieces in together. Get my hole punch. So I'm using the crop doll and I'm using the small punch, smaller hole of the two. And we'll put some twine through there. Hi, Terry, Judy. <laughs> and I'm going to double it. And then we'll have another piece, and we'll double that. Okay. And then I'm going to cut off some of that. Okay, I like that. 
I think I'll angle these. No, no, I won't. Never mind. Okay, let's put it down. I'm using the, uh, by the way, I'm using the Tonic Funky Tape Runner. This tape runner is under $2, and it has, I don't know how many feet on it, but I used it this weekend doing those pages I showed you, and I used the whole thing. I didn't have to put, I scrapped with it Friday and Saturday, and no, I scrapped with it all day Saturday, and I didn't put a refill in until um, Sunday afternoon, and so my scrapbook store sells these for two dollars and the refill for dollar fifty and I like it in case you're looking for a um, refillable tape runner and it is refillable yes welcome Judy I think I'm going to angle these corners. Let me make sure I'm doing the right. The one I want. No, I don't want that one. No, I don't want that one. Uh, maybe I'll leave it straight. I don't want too much going on. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down here. Cut off the excess. Hey, now, Carrie Ann, don't be telling her all our secrets about we're strange. <laughs> I think I'm going to pop this up too. Oh, thank you, Zandra. Good night. Are you streaming Wednesday night, Zandra? Zandra, are you streaming um, Wednesday night? Now again, I'll trim this here with my craft knife, this little piece left over here. Where's my two little tags? And I'm going to pop them like this. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm not going to pop this one, but I'm going to pop that one. Okay, thank you, Debbie, uh, Dorothy.
Oh, okay. Thank you. Where's Patty teaching? I haven't seen Patty on Sundays lately. I hope she's doing okay with her arm slash hand situation. Where's Patty teaching? Or are they just taking a class together? Oh, okay. Yes, Sandra likes Seth Apter. She does. We took a class with him at CHA a couple years ago. He's a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, so there's card number three. Okay. So we're doing good. We'll make two more cards. That'll give us our five. And then um, we'll be finished. Now this is a pretty piece too. I like making cards... You know, we always, we tend to make our cards um, portrait a, a lot. And I challenge myself to do landscape. And this would be pretty, except the flowers are going the wrong way. I am a little picky about things like that. And we have we used a big piece of this? No, we haven't. And we still like this. But then the flowers are still. Let's see, what about this one? Oh, this one would work. No, I don't like those two together. Okay, so we have this piece. Now let's see about our polka dot piece. I think we have something like this, don't we? Mm, similar. Okay, where's our paper pad? I'm not a stripe girl. You know what? This is pretty. But we have something a little similar. We haven't used this. But I don't... In order to do what I want to do, I have to have the card going the other way. And I want one more card going this way, landscape. And I, so I don't want that color. Um, Five and a half.
Okay, I'm gonna trim this down. Where are you going, Jennifer? Oh, okay. I thought maybe you were going to like a um, miniature co convention or something. That's pretty, guys. What do you think about that? Oh, that's pretty. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. I'll put this down. Oh, it is for a miniature convention. You're on the committee. Okay. Well, have fun. I'm going to Scrapbook Expo next month. I'm just we're going on Wednesday and Friday Thursday. I'm gonna take two classes on Thursday with Heartfelt Creations. And then Wednesday night we're gonna do a mega make and take. There are uh one, two, three, four of us going. A possible fifth. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be a lot of fun. And then I have a retreat in June, and I have another one in October. And then, you know, once a month, I scrap with my buddies, crop with my buddies at the local scrapbook store. And then every Thursday, three of us get together and scrapbook, make cards, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. I really look forward to it. Let me trim this up a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm going to get out my trusty Wink of Stella. So Wink of Stella is made by, um, who is it made? Zig. And it, it just gives you, well, actually, it's made by Kiritake, um, but it's distributed through Zig. And, um, Yes, they are. Um, it has just enough shimmer in it. It has a lot of shimmer. It's real. It's it's um a, it's glittery without the glitter. You can't feel the glitter. You can just see the shimmer of the glitter. It's kind of hard to explain. And they're in all kinds of colors. And I use this the clear one a lot. Um, I really like them. So to answer your question, um, Jennifer, yeah, all four of us, see, me, actually it's five of us, Beth, me, Valerie, Barb, Terry, yeah, five of us are going to take the mega take on um, Wednesday night, and it starts at five and goes to midnight, 
So if it takes you that long to make all the mega takes, then you know you have that long. And then the, the, the floor opens the next day um, at 10 o'clock and you can shop to your heart's content until 6. We probably won't stay to 6 because we'll want to get back home before it gets too dark and the traffic gets too crazy. So we usually leave around um, 4. I'm taking two classes with Heartfelt Creations. One is a tunnel book, a circle tunnel book, which I've seen them do on their um, uh, videos, and I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so pretty. And um, the other one, is, or the other class by them is uh, three Christmas cards. And, um, you know, when you take these classes, you come away with, uh, product you know not just what you made but they you get this bag of good stuff and then they give you a coupon worth I think it's twenty dollars to go down on the shop floor and um, and um, shop at their booth you know and you, then you'd get the twenty dollars off so what I did there was one thing you can do is instead of trying to just color in the spaces just take your pen and go around in the circles or whatever the design warrants and you kind of get more of a naturalized look that way i not everything's covered up uh color covered in you know with this and then i think it looks more natural uh at times to do that to just like you know hit and miss so now i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to go around this outside of this and Do that well my local scrapbook store is is about 20 miles away um, but it's the only one that's there's that one and then there's another one that's like 25 miles away and then there's another one that's about two hours away and I don't go to the two hour one that often maybe two three times a year just to shop and the 25 one, 25 mile one, I go to to shop, but I do my cropping and most of my shopping at that one. And then Hobby Lobbies, you know, Michaels and Joyce. Okay, so here's this card. And you, can you see the shimmer on the roses? See, if you were to touch that, you couldn't feel it. That's what I like about that. And it dries just almost instant, instant, instantly. And then I want to put something in here. See if they have anything in here that. No. But we could put this little card here with a little uh, strip of something. Let's cut. Let's cut some of this again. Um. I like to put stuff on the inside of the card. I think it adds a lot. Sometimes I forget, but I think it adds a lot to the card. I just want to make sure that I, um, okay. So, Gonna cut this. And put that like that. And I'm not going to pop this up because um, it's, you know, on the inside and it's just a little decoration. But I am going to use my Wink of Stella. And so this is what I do. I just do like this. You know, I'm not trying to get it all colored in, but then it just gives it a pop of shimmer down there. See? Okay. 
So let's do one more. And let's do a thinking of you. Okay, we have these two thinking of you. And those are thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Birthday flower, and your name is for you. Okay, so we got these two thinkings of you. These are those. We got these flowers. And we got this paper. So let's see if we can use this paper. This is pretty. Okay, you're back. All righty. No. All right, Dorothy, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Okay, I'm just trying to get these lined up. I like that. I have a bigger piece of this and I'm going to cut it bigger because do you know what? I want to layer it. Or let me put it this way. I hope I have a bigger piece of it. Ah. Hmm. Ah, I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so this is what I want to do with it. Let me cut this to five and a half. Okay, so now I've got this at five and a half. And then I want to take this and cut this to five and a half. Okay, and then we'll cut this to five and a half. Oh yeah, I like that. And then I'm gonna layer that like that. I like it. 
Let me see if I like it better like this. I think I like it better like this. Okay, and then we got this thinking of you you put down here. We have this really pretty flowers. Let me see if we have another flower. Oh, it'll be our luck we don't. Nope, that won't work. Just thinking, guys, just thinking. And make sure we don't have any other little flowers over here in our scraps. Nope, we don't. Okay, that's okay. Let me see something. Oh, look at that. All right, so see, this says thank you. And we've already, you know, used this kind of style before. So I'm going to take this flower and put it in here like this. And then I'm going to put... Let's see. Nope. 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 This is the last card, guys, and then we're done. Nope. I like this together. So let me put these two elements together. Okay, and now um, I just really thank you, Jennifer. Let's go ahead and put these down. I do enjoy making cards. I enjoy scrapbooking too. I had, my friend told me this weekend, I don't know how you do it. Like, do what? You just keep going, going, going. I'm like, well, you know, I, I'm having a good time and I don't want to stop. And I'm on a roll. <laughs> I was on a roll. You know how that is when you're on a roll, you don't want to stop. And, uh, but you know, you have to because the lady that owns the store has to go home. <laughs> nope, I need to pull that out a little more. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I don't think I have another big piece of this. No, okay. So this is a oops, this isn't a good this isn't my good one, but this is a rubber eraser. So when you put adhesive on, you can take it off your paper. 
you know, when you put adhesive, some like undo would just make it would take this off. But it takes it a while to dry. Whereas this just takes it right off. You have trouble, trouble keeping your cards flat. Why do you think that is? You mean they want to pop open like that? See how that one's popped open? Oh, Carrie Ann, I think that'd be great. You might be pleasantly surprised. Well, one way you can keep them flat is to burnish them really good. See how much, but a big difference that makes. It doesn't pop. It doesn't open. So before you start embellishing the card, if you burnish it on the fold really good. Oh, you mean bulky uh, embellishment? Well, yes. These these are my um, simple cards. I'm making simple cards tonight because <laughs> I do like to bulk them up. Yes, I do. I do. I feel your I'm with you. I know exactly what you're talking about. I like to put pretty embellishments on too. But you know, one thing is the post office, they will charge you arm and a leg if it's too bulky. Because it won't it won't pass through that little well here they have a little um, tool they use and they put your card through the slot and if it doesn't pass through there then they charge you they uh, sometimes they'll charge you extra or you know they'll tell you um, you got to mail it a different way all kind of stuff. So I try to save the bulky, the you know, the ones I'm going to really gussy up for when I give them in hand, you know, in person, or I'm going to put them in a gift to be with a gift to be mailed. Otherwise, they can they'll charge you they can charge you extra. there and they will do that I'm going to pop this up this little sentiment this is our last card and then we'll be done so I think we got five cards made guys and I'm going to pop this up that's a dud <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the same size as this. Yeah. Okay.
So does anybody have any questions before we um, sign off? You know what I think I might do is, where's my little thing there? There it is. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Come back. I'll be back on the third Monday of this month, as far as I know right now, and we'd love to have you. Oh, I still like this like this. And let's put some twine. This I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tie a bow there. That's what I'm going to do. So I need a longer piece of twine for that. So I'm going to cut a longer piece and I'm going to double it and then I'm going to do rabbit ears or I'm going to tie it in a bow. No, I'm going to do rabbit ears. I can't even talk. I'm going to double it and then I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to make a bow. There you go. That's what I'm doing. And then if you pull the ends, you'll make one loop smaller than the other. And then I'm going to put that there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so let's put this down. And then we're done. And I'm going to use uh, a glue dot to put that down. Black glue dot. Where's my bow? I just roll it up. Ah, come on. Try that again. I just roll it up and then I put it behind a knot and then I stick it down. Oh my gosh, is that the sweetest? Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? Okay. So now I'll take my wink of Stella. And I'm just gonna go around and around and around like that. And let me move all this out the way and I'll show you all the cards. Thanks everyone who came by tonight. It was nice seeing everybody and catching up. I'll show you all the cards we made tonight.
Okay, get this off my desk so I don't lose anything. I'll put it back in this little envelope. So we did, we made five cards. How is that? I'm just burnishing them so they'll lay a little flatter. And there you go. All right, guys. Maybe I should do them like this. So we got happy birthday, happy birthday, celebrate your special day, thank you, and thinking of you. What do you think? I know. Good, CBC. Well, thank you guys for joining me. It was fun seeing everybody, catching up, and... Um, hopefully I'll see you at Xandra's on uh, Wednesday night and at Jean's Dreams tomorrow. I'll try to pop in there. So, um, have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good uh, week. And I will talk to you all later. Okay. Bye now.